Tonight we have found a good man to open our show. Ladies and gentlemen, the godfather of the guitar, here's Chet Atkins. A long time ago in the town of Bernie, two young chaps Suddenly one day, all of their friends were called up to go to him. Bored and without anything to do, they stayed up all night, watching Blade Water and Mad Max, drinking Red Bull. He'd go to Vietnam to save their buddies, so they could once again enjoy the times they had with them. Thusly, they prayed to Chad Atkins, who came to them in a vision. <laughs> Thusly, they lied about their age and joined the army. Almost immediately, they were shipped away, skipping boot camp altogether, because they also lied about the skills they had with firearms. Upon arriving, they got their weapons, two 22 Rugers, because supplies were short back then because so many people were shipped away. And then, the real mess started. They didn't know how bad the Viet Cong were until experiencing them first hand. First night there, after being introduced to their sergeant and everything, they came visited by Chen Atkins in the vision I had mentioned earlier, telling them that they had to kill as many of those Viet Cong yellow bastards as they could to save their friends, so they could have good times all around once again, and to stop the flow of communism. Knowing what they had to do, they set out right away, in the middle of the night, Rugers blazing. Madly running through the jungles and shooting everything they saw that moved because Charlie was everywhere, kicking trees and sometimes they would fall out and shoot him in the head and sometimes they wouldn't at all. Running around like a madman, they stumbled in on the Viet Cong camp. Seeing that they had a, a prisoner that was of high value, they suddenly destroyed everybody with sharp rocks to use as knives. The prisoner was of course himself, and Van Halen, who taught him hot licks on the guitar. Like that. Yeah! And also great marksmanship, so they can shoot the yellow menace more effectively to save their friends. Then, after releasing Eddie Van Halen from his prison, he said he'd go and hail Chet Atkins for him so that he'd get more help, because Charlie was everywhere. They were unrelentless. They were un- Well, let's see. Pressing toward their goal, they would never stop, only to eat if they could, and sometimes go to the bathroom if it was acceptable in certain places. Sometimes it wasn't. Sometimes it was. They didn't care. A man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. And these old men were on a mission. A mission from Jet Act. Save your buddies. Stop the Viet Cong. No, it's stopping nothing. Not even the Viet Cong themselves, with their high-tech weaponry and advanced guerrilla tactics, can help alter these boys. Thinking that this plan was really going nowhere, they decided to go on a super secret stealth mission. How ninjing the ninja, drifting from tree to tree like the wind, they came across the biggest Viet Cong camp they ever saw. And their friends were inside. Those yellow bastards were forcing them to build a railroad. They could have none of that. After a careful strategic plan, our friends were gonna strike. And they did. Running in their guns blazing, they shot everything they moved. Even sometimes their fallen comrades. Releasing their friends with those sharp rocks they used as knives. They started running out and suddenly they were cornered by tons of the Kong. Suddenly, when they thought all hope was lost, they thought that they were outnumbered and couldn't win. Then, with a battle cry that would make Thor himself, 
Fuck his ears. Chet Atkins came descending from the heavens with Eddie Van Halen and Elvis Presley at his side and destroyed the Viet Cong with some hot licks and some mad riffs. Thusly, the disciples of Chet Atkins were saved. And then, they were on their way home before they knew it, on a slow fishing boat to the Americas. And good times were had all around, and all was right in the jungle. And forever and ever, they lived together as friends, never forgetting what toils they went through to have a good time with each other.